peeper, 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 peeper. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, this video is called A Disgrace to the System of Justice in Jamaica, A Disgrace to the Department of Correction in Jamaica. We are talking about the prison system. And this is based on a story that was done by a person whose name is Noel Chambers, and he was 81 when he died in the custody of the Department of Correction. And he was locked up in there in excess of 40 years. However, he did not get any sort of trial. So, therefore, he was held unjustly. So therefore the moral of the story is this, we are speaking about a violation of human rights, we are speaking about a travesty, we are speaking about something that should not have happened if all of the relevant authorities were not so incompetent, were not so neglectful and were not so, we are speaking about inhumane because people like me say the man passed away in a department of correction and based on the report of in the come it is said that this man died and when he died his body had all sorts of rat bites we are talking about bed bug and people if you don't know what bed bug is i am speaking about chink and there was also the fact that he was suffering from all sorts of bed sores and even worse he died malnourished because people there's a picture out there and i actually have the picture however if i put up this picture more than likely somebody is going to complain that they basically find it offensive so therefore i will leave that one out now based on the report of terence williams from indicom he said that when he contacted the department of correction they were confused they were dazed they did not know exactly what was going on because based on what they were saying this man was found unfit for trial however they claimed that he was also convicted for the murder of a constable we are speaking about a constable of popo back in about 1980 1970 something rete lele blue blah bling However, based on what Indicom is saying, it is an oxymoron that means that you cannot be found unfit to plea and also be convicted of murder. So therefore, the two does not go together. And even the Department of Justice and even the Department of Correction should have known better because those two things does not work together. We are speaking about found unfit and also went to trial and then convicted of a murder. So people, that should have been red flag number one if persons were doing their job point blank and period the report further stated that mr chambers did three psychiatric we are speaking about evaluation and there were at least three reports between the years of 2003 and also 2008 and he was found fit for be a scale face trial however he was not given a date he was not given a court date he was not given a trial he was basically left and lost in the system so people we are speaking about negligence once again we are speaking about a set of person that always talk like some big talk however they are not doing their job they are negligent they are very irresponsible and people this is one of the worstest case point blank and period now i know that the question that person are going to ask is this how could a prisoner or an inmate be held so long in the department of correction without any sort of trial and even though he was claimed to be unfit people he was held under the governor general's pleasure that means that if them find him unfit however they don't want to let him out that is a stipulation or uh, that is what we can call some sort of department of justice sykes or some sort of maneuver for hold somebody just like if somebody is held under the state of emergency it is indefinite so people them have him in there more than life because he did over 35 years he was in there for 40 years without any sort of trial we are talking about human rights violation we are speaking about all sorts of violation point blank and period now just when we thought that this was a one-off situation and this is an isolated incident no people based on the report from indicom it is said that there are also nine other persons in similar situation 
So therefore, Indicom is calling for a change as it pertains to the Department of Correctional Services. And um, people, somebody needs to intervene because we see that this is not a one-off thing. This is a repeat offender. We are speaking about the Department of Justice and the Department of Correctional Service. We are speaking about negligence, negligence, incompetence, and irresponsibility. Point blank and <laughs> period. The income report further revealed that in the year 2000, it was commissioned that the Commission of Correction is required to give a report. We are speaking about a monthly report, an update to the court and every person who is there that is unfit. We are speaking about persons with mental challenge. Some people, we are talking about 2000. We are now in 2020. We are talking about 20 years. And in 20 years, there has been not one report. Some people, we are talking about 240 report that the Department of Correction failed to basically deliver. Some people, we are talking about incompetence. We are speaking about a set of persons that are getting paid for no sort of reason. The only thing that they seem to do very well is basically violate people's human rights point blank and period now people you have to understand that if somebody is locked up in the system and they have some sort of mental challenge that means that there's a lack of communication with their family. That means that they can't tell their family where they are at. So sometimes they are lost in the system. They are lost in translation. So therefore, for these persons to go back to court, they would have to hire a lawyer. And the truth and the fact that most of the time, in most cases, scenario, these are persons that not only have a mental challenge, they are also financially challenged. So the point that I am trying to make is that the only chance that they stand is if they get a lawyer for basically fight on their behalf, for basically take up them case. However, we see that it is not even possible because, like I said, they are lost in the system and it is a woeful failure as it pertains to the Department of Justice, the Department of Correction, point blank and period. So basically in their report, Indicom recommended that there be a psychiatric ward in every prison in Jamaica. So therefore mentally ill or mentally challenged person can receive the proper treatment that they need and also humane condition and also the fact that they can be brought back to court. So therefore them can basically face their charges and get some sort of justice, get their case basically confirmed if they are guilty or not. If they are eligible to be parole, especially after they've done over excess of a couple of decades in the dirty place. And the truth and the facts that when we think about these facilities in Jamaica, especially as it pertains to Tower Street, we are speaking about formerly general penitentiary. It is not even a place that is fit for human beings because it was built back in the slavery days and it was built for slaves that were going to be auctioned. So people, we are talking about an old time place that should have been condemned. We are speaking about decades ago. However, they are still holding people and people, they are not even just holding them. They are per them we are speaking about inhumane condition inhumane treatment because people are dead in Dongle point blank and period the income boss Terence Williams also recommended that persons that are unfit for trial and that are held under the governor general's pleasure they should be held under the court's pleasure so therefore the court is supposed to do their job because the truth and the fact is that the governor general does not know what is going on it is just his term that is used we are speaking about his name that is used as Sykes as some sort of sham for basically whole people especially in the case of Mr. Chambers who was accused of killing we are speaking about a constable we are talking about a popo so therefore you know that more than likely he would not have been let out point blank and period now people like I've stated before Mr. Noel Chambers case is not an isolated incident as a matter of fact it is more the norm or it is more frequent that we would have thought or would have liked because like i said there are also nine other persons in similar situation and as a matter of fact back in about 2003 there was a case involving a man and his name is alfred nettleford and he was locked up for almost 29 years and he was allegedly charged for breaking a glass people we are talking about a glass 
me not talk about no firearm. I am not speaking about any sort of slap away, murder, rate, lele, blue, blah, blend. Me I talk about him broke a glass and got 29 years. He did over 29 years. He was also lost in the system. We are speaking about a set of persons from the Department of Correction in a Jamaica that are lost, dazed and confused and don't know them head from them foot. So anyways, back in February of 2003, he was awarded $9 million compensation from the Department of Justice for unjustified incarceration. People, that man was also up in him ears. We are talking about he was 78 year old. So people, we are talking about some old people that are receiving some unusual and cruel treatment by the Department of Justice, by the Department of Correction in a Jamaica. Point blank and period. Now, just based on this report and also other report from human rights organization, the truth and the facts that the Ministry of Justice, the DPP, the court system, the justice system, the Department of Correction and all other stakeholders, all other relevant authority, they should be held accountable because the truth and the facts that this is disgusting and this is a woeful breakdown of epic proportion we are talking about epic failure in the system of justice and everybody we are talking about heads for all point blank and period now people when we think about the system in jamaica and how backwards they are because if you've ever been to any of these government buildings we are talking about the court we are talking about the tax office People, they are still using these old black book. We are speaking about from back in our King Louis days. We are talking about Queen Elizabeth days. And when we think about the fact that we are now living in a technological age where everything is moving at the speed of light, we are talking about lightning speed. It seems like Jamaica backwards. People, when you go to these places, it seems as if you are having flashback because people, it seems like time don't move. It seems like technology has not moved point blank and period may i talk about it is very depressing and um, people if you've been there let me know in the comment section if i am telling the truth or not now like i've always said before when it pertains to jamaica and the system of government we are speaking about the person that manage jamaica people they are reactive instead of proactive so now we see that the government we are talking about andrew holness and we see that the minister of justice we are speaking about mr samoda and we also saw that the dpp we are speaking about paula llewellyn she also responded and they said that they need to revamp the system there need to be a total overall of the justice system and the system of department of justice we are talking about correction people we are speaking about something that has been happening for decades and it took a case like this it took something very extreme it took somebody to lose them life before people basically saw what is going on so people we are speaking about a very epic failure in the whole system we are talking about from the court to the dpp to the government to the system of justice to the department of correction everybody and anybody them asleep they are dazed and confused point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up